whoo, like, whoo, it's got the lights flashing all over the place. And yeah, this isn't gonna tell us anything. Green protector. Ooh, look at that. Nice. First thing we're gonna do is charge the beast. Lithium iron phosphate batteries, which is what this is, LifePo 4. They like to be charged. These on a 12 volt battery, they add up to about 13.6. And on a 24 volt battery, they add up to 25.6. All battery manufacturers uh, that are putting these things together they they vary a little bit so you gotta look at the manual you gotta whatever battery you buy you gotta take a look at that and make sure you're following their specifications so i'm going to charge this um, to fully charge this at 12 volt you want 14.6 at um 24 volt you want 29.2 that's weird so anyway, so I want my target voltage is 29.2 volts. And I thought, you know, I'll probably be able to. I don't have a charger in my arsenal that's gonna go to exactly 29.2 volts. I thought I could probably get away with maybe a wall wart type charger. And the highest one that I have, I think tops out at 20, Five volts. If I want to hit that 29.2 volts, I need to I needed to get a, a separate charger. You can get away with charging these batteries to a lower voltage, and maybe uh, like if I tried to hit 26 volts, then it would probably get pretty close to fully charged. The thing is with these batteries um, that are pre-built in here, they have little balancers for each individual cell. So this 24 volts, um, it has a lot of different cells in here. It has them all lined up and all connected together. And each one of those cells um, gets charged separately. Now they don't, it doesn't happen until you hit above a certain voltage. So you'll take the whole thing up to a certain voltage. And I don't know what the specifics of, of this one are, but let's just say for example 26 uh, I think whatever the 25 volt 26 volts is like where it's going to rest at you need to be punching above that 26 volts in order for all the batteries all the individual cells to kind of get leveled off with the circuitry that's in here that's the only way it's going to each individual cell is going to get fully charged and balanced if you don't balance the cells then they're not going to last as long so that's another reason that I thought, well, I better pick up a, a battery charger that's specific for lithium ion phosphate, iron phosphate. I don't like, I don't know why I like to say iron or ion, ion. Here we go. I went and just got myself a little, the cheapest one I could find and we're gonna find out um, how fast it charges. This one, it says it's going to charge 24 volts at 5 amps. That's pretty good. Uh, and the other thing is with lithium iron phosphate batteries, the faster you charge them, they'll take a fast charge. So if you need to get it up to speed, if you're out in the field and you're doing some work and you need the battery to get charged up to 80%, you can charge that battery up to 80% pretty fast. Put a 50 amp charge on here and it's going to go right up. Even if you hit that 29.2 volts, however, that doesn't mean the battery's fully charged, even if the, the charging amps fall off. So what happens there is the faster you charge it, the lower the capacity is. Um, the slower you charge it up to a point, you don't want to go, you don't want to do some trickle charging on these guys, but if, if you're pumping five amps, two amps in, into a battery this size, then that's pretty slow. That's nice and slow and you can take it up to the full 29.2 volts and it will retain uh, closer to 100% of the charge. So that's what we're gonna do. I, I decide to get a cheap, cheap little uh, <laughs> battery charger just because that's that's what I've read and, and that's what I've come across. And 
we're going to put it to the test and find out if that's actually true. Especially since I don't really care how fast I charge this battery because this battery is basically going to be sitting in there not being used at all. What I'm probably going to do is every three months, maybe six months, I'm going to put it to the test, run it through its cycle, see if it'll last me 24 hours or not. Because you don't want batteries to be sitting forever. If this battery sat for five years, it'd probably be dead. Woo! That fired up right away. You know why that sparked? <laughs> that freaked me out for a second. That sparked because there's a capacitor in here and it back charged to the capacitor. That's funny. And so the capacitor, need, uh, it took that energy like immediately. And so now um, this charger is actually taking a reading on this battery and it's looking and it's seeing, oh, look at that, 26 volts on there. Okay, now it's plugged in. I'm wondering if off the bat, there we go. So LifePo4 is right here, the lithium iron, iron phosphate. Now one of the biggest complaints that I saw on this battery charger is that it has too many bells and whistles <laughs> as far as like, ooh, it's got the lights flashing all over the place and blah, blah, blah. They said it was noisy, but I hear a fan in here. I can feel the air at the bottom. It's not that noisy. And who cares really if you're only charging a battery every three months. There isn't much. It's not telling us that it's going to go to the 29.2 or not. Now I did not want to plug this battery into the tank without charging it because sometimes you can kill a battery when you do that. If it's sitting at 20% or something and then you drop it to zero, you can kill it. So we want to take it, charge it completely and then take it down to zero. <laughs> That's what they say. And you know, I've actually had some cheap batteries that I've done that to right off the bat and killed them. So they're probably right. Yeah, this isn't gonna tell us anything. In protector. Ooh, look at that. Nice. 27, uh, 4.3 amps is what we're putting in here right now. We have not made it much farther. It's been an hour, we're at 36, what would it say? Oh, we're pumping 5.3 amps. 26.7 volts is what we're up to. I'm betting that this was, it actually is only at 20%. If we're pumping five amps through this thing, that's letting me know. Uh, another thing about the way these uh, bad boys charge is the graph on how they charge is pretty much like the discharge. The discharge immediately comes down and goes across time and then it finally just drops off. So the charging starts on the graph. It's going to start low and then it goes across, across, across and it really, it, they don't behave like lead acid batteries at all. They, um, they resist. They have a lot of impotence so they resist the charge so that the voltage doesn't go up right away. They just hold steady, 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 and at the very end of the charge, you'll see it um, pop up into the 29.2. It's been about five hours and it never changed, but now we've um, bumped up to 26.8, you can see there. We're still pumping in 5.3 amps, but the voltage is starting to climb. That means that's an indication that we're uh, the curve is starting to go nope. It goes nope. <laughs> I ended up leaving it running all night, and at some point, <laughs> the battery filled up. Filled up. Um, and this is what the charger looks like when the battery's full. I'm gonna. I don't. I have no idea of where it ended up. Kind of wishing I got the Wi-Fi version at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and remove one of the leads and then plug it back in and see if it gives us a reading. It's off. At least it'll tell us um, where it's at now. Four point three amps. It's pushing right now. Twenty six point nine is where the battery has kind of settled after the charge. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off because we don't need to top it off anymore. 
um, yeah, pretty interesting, pretty cool. Would have been nice to get a Wi-Fi version of this that you could actually look at the data. Usually, you're only going to use that function once or twice, and then once you know what your battery's doing, then you don't really need the function anymore. Unless you have hundreds of batteries, you don't really need to be tracking them that much. I was wondering why that ball kept getting bigger, and then it hit me.